everyone and welcome to the flammable math channel I'm obviously not flammable math but I'm doing this guest video to let everybody know of my favorite proof the proof of the complex logarithm the ln of z for z equals to a plus b i uh, I'm not writing most of this down because my handwriting is not so good so I printed down most of what I need and I'm gonna mark off things as I need them uh, let's start so z equals a plus b i. Let's try to plot z on the complex plane. Okay, so we have the imaginary axis and the real axis. Uh, here is the point a, b, which corresponds to this distance b of the imaginary axis and this distance a on the real axis. Uh, it's obviously equal to our number a plus b i which is z right but uh, you could also look at this as a vector a vector has uh, more than one way to define it you could define it on rectangular form like this a plus b i or you could define it in polar form such as you look at this angle theta and you look at the vector's magnitude which we'll call r both of these are easily computable with the trigonometry. So let's get started. We have here uh, theta and r. We will start with r because it's easier. r is obviously square root of a squared plus b squared by the Pythagorean by the theorem. Theta by trigonometry, of course, is the inverse tangent. We're going to mark it like that. Of b over a because it's um so katoa or something like that it's um opposite over uh, adjacent so that's the tangent so we can rewrite our complex number a plus b i as r times by using trigonometry r times cosine theta plus r times sine theta now let's see, uh, before we go back to our logarithm, I'm going to factor out r, get cosine theta plus i sine theta, which is of course by Euler's formula, r e to the i theta. So beautiful, isn't it? So we can go back to our complex logarithm, plug our new information in, so r e to the i theta. Now we can split it by one of the log properties. We can split it, we can have r here and e to the i theta. Next, uh, the ln and the e cancel out, so we can have ln of still r and i theta. Now, what's r? r we said square root of a squared plus b squared. Theta is inverse tangent of b over a. Now, what is the square root function? It's actually a one half power, right? So we can bring that to the front. So lastly, the ln of z is one half of ln of a squared plus b squared plus i inverse tangent of b over a where z is equal to a plus b i that's it i hope you enjoy this proof this little proof and i hope you enjoy the video and have a flammable day i guess fellow mathematicians thank you for watching this quick little math video elad k sent this to me he asked me to put it on my channel, so I said, yes, why the hell not? Um, show this guy some love. He just created a new math channel. And if you want to check it out, if you like this video, please take a look in the description. There will be a link to the corresponding channel. There are no videos there up until now, I guess, but he's going to post some videos soon. So stay tuned for that. And here are two quick little updates. So first things first, thank you guys for donating some money to me over GoFundMe. I bought this new lamp <laughs> from the money I got from GoFundMe. I just want to improve the video quality and I guess better lightning is the first step to 
a better video quality. So I hope this light is okay right here. I don't know, I have to check the video. <laughs> also, we are going to take a look at three absolutely amazing integrals in the next few days. So the first integral I'm going to post on Sunday is this one right here, the integral from 0 to 1 of the natural log of x plus 1 over x squared plus 1. So that's going to be absolutely astonishing. It's going to be up on Sunday. And after that we are also going to take a look at this little problem right here. Some exponential functions. Um, a, a user just asked me to do this little problem for him to uh, prove that this is indeed true, this equality. So I'm going to do a video on that and after that we are going to take a look at those two bad boys right here. The improper integral from 0 to infinity of sine of e to the x times dx and also the improper integral from 0 to infinity of the sine squared of x over x squared times dx. So those are going to be absolutely ridiculous and I hope you will enjoy those videos. And up until the next video, have a flammable day. See ya.